Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie Channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in TL7 which is all about farm waste management and actual performance of basket composting and foliar fertilizer fermentation. This will be the second quarter topic on learning competency 8, 9, and 10. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to understand clearly how farm wastes are properly processed The second one is to perform basket composting and foliar fertilizer fermentation at home or in school And the third one is to appreciate the importance of proper waste management in the farm by answering the reflection of learning in activating the prior knowledge, the students will identify some of the proper ways of taking care of the crops in the farm. In establishing purpose of the lesson for unlocking of content vocabulary, the students will answer the match type activity. The following are the six basic functions of waste management. The first stage is the production. It is the function of the amount and nature of agricultural waste generated by an agricultural enterprise. The waste requires management if the quantity produced is sufficient enough to become a resource concern. A complete analysis of production includes the kind, consistency, Consistency, volume, location, and timing of the waste produced. Another basic function of waste management is the collection. It refers to the initial capture and gathering of the waste from the point of origin or deposition to a collection point. The method of collection, location of the collection points, scheduling of the collection, labor requirements, necessary equipment or structural facilities, management and installation, cost of the components, and the impact that collection has on the consistency of the waste should be identified. 
Another basic function of waste management is the transfer. So it refers to the movement and transportation of the waste throughout the system. It includes the transfer of the waste from the collection point to the storage facility, to the treatment facility, and to the utilization site. Another basic function of waste management is the storage. It is the temporary containment of the waste. The storage facility of the waste management system is the tool that gives the manager control over the scheduling and the timing of the system functions. Another basic function of waste management is the treatment. Treatment is another function designed to reduce the pollution potential or modify the physical characteristics of the waste, such as moisture and total solid content, to facilitate more efficient and effective handling. Manure treatment is comprised of physical, biological, and chemical unit processes. It also includes activities that are sometimes considered pre-treatment, such as the separation of solids. Another basic function of waste management is the utilization. Utilization includes the reusing and or recycling of waste products. Agricultural waste may be used as a source of energy, beading, organic matter, or plant nutrients. When properly treated, they can be marketable. For the lesson 2 are the types of the waste. So the following are the different types of waste. So the first one is the liquid waste. So it is commonly found in households as well as in industries. So this waste includes the dirty water, organic liquids, wash water, waste detergents, and even rain water. Another types of waste is the solid rubbish. Solid rubbish can include various items found in your household along with commercial and industrial locations. Solid rubbish is commonly broken down into the following types. The first one is the plastic waste. So it consists of plastic bags, containers, jars, bottles, and other products that can be found at home. Plastic is not biodegradable. Other types of plastic can be recycled. Take note that plastic should not be mixed in your regular waste and it should be sorted and placed in your recycling bin. Another types of solid rubbish is the paper or the card waste. So it includes packaging materials, old newspapers, used cardboard, and other products. Paper can easily be recycled and reused, so place them in your recycled bin and think of the best way how you can use those as your material in creating something saleable out of it. Another types of solid rubbish are the tins and metals. So it can be found in various forms throughout your home. So most metals can be recycled. It can be recycled and used in making some display materials at home like creating flower vase and small lampshade. Another types of solid rubbish are ceramics and glass. So these items can easily be recycled. Look for special glass and bottles and can create them into something useful like sugar, coffee, and cream containers. Another types of waste is the organic waste. Organic waste is another common household. All food waste, garden waste, manure, and rotten meat are classified as organic waste. Over time, organic waste is turned into manure by microorganisms.
Another types of waste is the recycled rubbish. Recycled rubbish includes all the waste items that can be converted into products that can be used again. Solid items such as paper, metals, furniture, and organic waste can all be recycled. Another types of waste is the hazardous waste. This includes all types of flammables, toxic, corrosive, and reactive rubbish. It also includes radioactive waste and chemical waste. Examples are paints, batteries, light bulbs, floors and tubes, pesticides, weed killers, gas bottles, and chemical fertilizers. Another types of waste is the industrial waste. Industrial waste is a type of waste that is produced by an industrial process. So this can include manufacturing, construction, and mining processes. This is a broad category that can include anything from asbestos and clinical waste to oil and chemicals.